If you closely examine different cultures worldwide, they all share a similar belief in a higher power, a divine deity, or God. They deem him a sovereign, the creator of the universe, and the protector of humankind. Some people, however, don't acknowledge God's existence, and here are their reasons. No reason to believe. Some people don't believe in God because there's no reason why they should. A commentator writes this about religious people something about faith. They convince people that believing things without evidence is an admirable trait. Value Skepticism I see no logical reason to believe unsubstantiated claims for the supernatural, shares a skeptical poster about God. Another one says, you'd think with all the miracles the Bible talks about, we would have seen a few in the last 2000 years. Never raised to believe in one. One's upbringing also influences one's faith. Many atheists admit they were unaware of a higher power and religion because they were never exposed to it. One poster, however, says they became an atheist for opposite reasons, I was raised in a super-religious family that took it way too seriously, and that's why I am 100% atheist. Everyone believes that their version of God is correct. Many non-believers find this reasoning valid. Think about it, there are over 4,000 religions that claim their God is correct. One poster points out how low the odds of picking the right one would be, January 5000. Christians preach love but show hate. Others have difficulty believing in God because religious institutions teach one thing while doing the opposite. They preach love but show hate, they preach acceptance but refuse to show acceptance, writes a poster, with another stating, there's no hate like Christian love. Inconsistencies and outright contradictions. Also, some people don't understand why the Bible, God's Word, has contradictions. For instance, if you only went to heaven for believing in Jesus, then why condemn people who have never heard of him? The Bible is the only proof. Many atheists claim that the only evidence that there is a God is because the Bible says so. And it's not just the Bible but other perceived sacred texts like the Quran, the Torah, and the Bhagavad Gita. No evidence. Some people would happily believe there is a supreme being if there was compelling evidence. However, they say there is none. One user even shares an interesting concept on how people quickly believe in God, tell people there's an invisible man in the sky who created the universe, and the vast majority will believe you. Tell them the paint is wet, and they have to touch it to be sure. Children battling cancer. Many people reason that if there was an all-powerful deity, children should be spared from cancer. It worsens when believers attribute childhood cancer to God working in mysterious ways. Bad stuff happens to very good people. It also does not make sense to some that God wants people to be good yet lets them experience bad things or why he lets bad people get away with bad things. It also gets confusing when religion teaches that bad things strengthen one's faith. How so? Religion is a man-made institution. One poster believes, it's human nature to invent meanings or reasons to live. Humans didn't want to accept the futility of life, so they created the idea that there was a higher power or entity to give them reason.